AMD change in the game uh, is taking a medium that kids really enjoy, uh, which is gaming, but not from a passive standpoint. It's from an active standpoint where they actually get an opportunity to sit down with a team of their peers, actually come together, collaborate, and develop a game, uh, and a positive game with social content. Both playing games and making games have enormous potential for learning, health, social impact. There's an incredible set of skills to designing games as a system. It involves, obviously, systems thinking. It involves iterative design. Often games are designed collaboratively, so you have to work with, with teammates and, and, and collaborate. It gives students an opportunity to be creative, and it also gives students the opportunity to bring their thoughts together. Uh, they, they conduct research. They uh, look at facts and how, how are they going to design the game. So it's a wonderful opportunity for all students. And I think the, the best success that I can state is that students will rise to the occasion when given the opportunity. I think the most uh, notable thing uh, I have seen is a spark. Uh, with younger students, what we're seeing and what we've seen uh, with a program that we have sponsored in East Austin uh, is how excited they get about technology in general and how they're using it in their everyday lives. We are very fortunate at the East Austin College Prep Academy uh, to implement Global Aurea. Global Aurea is uh, an intensive game development curriculum. East Austin College Prep Academy is really going to offer a lot to the field of study of technology integration. It's a real learning context with all of its challenges. Our objective is Objective 6, which is critical thinking, so it's pretty hard for the kids, and so we're going to try to put in some word problems about math, like what is the proportion of this, and then like what is the other side of it. It was hard for me to get the codes inside the computer, now it's like really easy because I, I've been through it and all that. So there's a lot that um, we can learn about um, how technology programs can be started. I think what we're seeing now is much more energy around this whole concept of games being educational. I mean, these are all almost textbook 21st century learning and literacy skills, but they're done in a super highly engaging environment that kids want to do. It does bridge the gap, uh, you know, for science and technology. Uh, there's an incredible amount of math involved in building games, and you know you see kids that they aren't necessarily doing well in math that do a really great job in developing their games because they have to figure that math out. The gaming industry teaches kids uh, a particular way to learn, and they also do it in a in a way uh, that is fun. Uh, there is a real interaction there and a, and a real uh, connection, and I will suggest a real synergy uh, where the gaming industry and the teaching industry need to come together and further that opportunity. It takes partners such as AMD. AMD has done a wonderful job for our students because when students are motivated it impacts the attendance and when students are in school they're learning. So there's a big picture here. It's not just about a class, it's about impacting the, the whole education of a child.